you get ready in the dark or something? Cause you look like a beautiful nightmare Don't you know? Hi guys, it's your girl Tanisha back with another video Finally, it has been since forever since I made you guys a video So today I made some Yanni bars and some shampoo bars and we about to get into this cutting Now it's been a while because you know, I'm still working full-time I'm branding this business bringing this business to life, but I'm also an aspiring author So I have also been you know trying to finish this book. This book has been giving me hell y'all But I've been trying to finish this book get it out networking with some good editing people who's been offering advice so you know we just been going with the flow I'm also a full-time mother to four badass kids let me stop they're not bad but you know four kids I love them to death they're my babies but you know I just been busy so I told myself I was gonna come back I was gonna give you guys at least one video a month um, it is raining right now so if you hear a little pit of pat it's just from the rain okay so let's let's go ahead and get into it so what you've seen me do so far I've already washed my hands I've already sanitized them and I have already applied my gloves so I have my cutting board on the table but because it got a little bit of war wounds on it I laced it with this wax paper um, this is the Yanni bar that I designed um, I did something a little different. I tried to change the color. The color still didn't come out the way I wanted to, but you know, we are gonna work with what we got. Um, I actually did some soap embeds. They are some cute little hearts, and that's what the, the little red things you see on top. That's what those are, um, little red hearts that I did. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, I did about, I did about three of these molds. I did like three loaves which will come out to about 20-ish bars when cut. Um, I roughly get about six or seven off each loaf. Um, and then I have a few left over that I do for my soap samples that I put in people's orders, but I also sell sample packs for those who don't know what you wanna buy. We got sample packs on the website. Go grab a pack, test, 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 and whichever one you love, just come back and buy more because that's what they're for. Now, here I am. I am demolding this loaf um, and as you can see which you can barely see how the color came out I used angry rose from mad micas for the base and then I used uh, for the white creamish looking part I used champagne you see the champagne or champagne toast from mad micas I'm not 100% sure no this video is not sponsored by them I just love their colors um, but in the video, as you can see, the base looks like it's more of a tan or brown color. It's not. It, when you look at it for real, for real, it looks like it's, it's more pinkish. Um, the, the herbal infusion that I, or sorry, <clears throat> the herbal, <laughs> herbal infusion that I put together before blending this bar, it's like a dark, deep brown. Um, so that takes effect on whatever color that you apply to it as well. So today I'm just going to be cutting these. Um, the angle is a little off, okay, so I will tell you that my hand is kind of blocking the camera a little bit when I cut so you're not getting the full ASMR. But uh, when I re-record, honey, when I come back with that other video that I plan on doing and getting my cutting skills up to par, the angle will be better. You, you'll get everything. So. Um, this is me just showing you up close to what I was talking about. So you see how it looks like it's a brown and cream color. And then the color on top was supposed to be white, but that came out to be cream. And then the only thing that's actually red is the hearts. The color of the hearts is what was supposed to be the base of this soap. But again, like I said, because of the infusion that I put together and it has its own color, I was supposed to lighten this up a little bit more, but I tried it anyway. Um, what I do is instead of using lye and lye water solution, I do lye and aloe vera juice, but that's just with this bar alone, with this, um, this soap. So I put the lye, the aloe vera juice, and I put the color inside of the solution and I let it sit until it cools down. Once it cools down, then I mix. But when I did it this time, this is the color I came out with, which is actually not too bad. It's not, you know, it's, it's cute or whatever. So, and this is just an up close. Look at that slice. Look, look at that. Yes, yes. 
this was really not what I had in mind though. I ain't gonna even lie. I had like a drop swirl technique that I wanted to do with this bar. It didn't work out so well because I kind of jacked up the recipe in the beginning. Your girl had to mix the oils and the lye water together and um, I forgot to add the shea butter. So I had to go put it back in the bowl, pour the shea butter in it, and then remix. So I'm going to stop talking just for a little bit just to give y'all a little visual of what's going on so you can actually see the cut. And then I'll come back throughout the video and talk to y'all about what y'all looking at, okay? So enjoy for now. Okay, so right here, I was finishing up this loaf. Um, as you see, we got down to a little small piece. So um, I'm gonna show you that, you know, when making stuff, you're always gonna make a mistake. So this was the mistake that I made, was trying to cut this bar, um, cut like the end piece off of this bar so that I can use it for samples. And as you can see, as soon as I start cutting, it goes whoop right off so now i got a half a chunk on my on my thing can i still use this as a sample yes can you still bathe with this bar yes there's nothing wrong with it it's just the cutting when you're hand cutting everything everything's not going to always come out perfect the way you want it like my other bars but look it's still a nice chunk it's still got this little this little loop de loop <laughs> <laughs> whatever you want to call it it still has that on it but it still works the same it did nothing to my recipe it changed nothing but the appearance so i just want to let you know if you get some bars like this this is why this is why it's because i cut it by hand and sometimes i jack it up but it's still going on the website though and those two samples you still will get those in the sample pack
So now I'm just doing a little cleanup. These little shavings that you actually see, I do have a bag of these already that I keep them from the previous Yanni soaps that I made. Um, these are actually gonna go into another batch of Yanni socks. Um, Yanni socks, girl, bad. Another batch of Yanni soaps that I am gonna make. But I also use these for my hand washing videos to show you the lather. Okay guys, let's get into these shampoo bars now. So this is my first time making the shampoo bars. I've never made these before, but I've always talked about making them. And I finally, finally, finally decide to go ahead and do the thing. So I changed my whole hair oil recipe that I had before. I took some things out, moved some things around. It's still gonna have the Chevy and it's still gonna have the Barange powder. The Chevy powder is from Africa. And the Barange powder is gonna be from India, but they're all known for healthy hair growth and promoting long, long growing hair. So this mold actually came out pretty good. As you can see how smooth this bottom is, you know, that's the top of the bar or whatever. It does have a light scent. It smells like aloe and clover, which actually smells really good. Um, but you can also smell the oil itself from when I infuse it. I don't add, any um, fragrance or anything in there when it's being infused i do add a little bit of a fragrance in there which is skin safe and it's safe for you know it's safe for your body to use i do add a little bit of that in there after i blend everything together and i'm putting it together so um this mold though see how jacked up that is it's a little jacked up it's because i didn't push it all the way down in the mold again you make mistakes this is my first time making shampoo bars my first time actually trying trying to do this so I know the next time I go to make it I'm gonna have to mix thin to thin trace versus to it turns thick if I do a thin trace I can pour it in there while it's still a little watery and it'll fill the whole mold up and I'm actually gonna be ordering some more of these molds really soon so I can make more shampoo bars um, but I also have an aloe bar that's on my website that you can use for your hair as well but we're talking about that in another video um, anyway like I said, these bars are really thick. They're really heavy. Um, like this one's real jacked up. I don't know if I'm put this on the website, but just from holding this, it weighs the same amount as the other soaps. It's just not as smooth. So it's still jam packed with all the nutrients that you would need for your hair, but it's just the appearance is a little off, you know? So I'm a little, I'm a little hesitant. That little square bar you see, that's gonna be my personal bar, which I'll probably be doing a video on how I wash my hair with it or whatever. But you know, that's gonna be my personal bar on how I do that. But um, if you guys are watching this video, I do appreciate each and every one of you for watching. Um, it's gonna be ending soon. I am gonna try to keep up with my videos at least once a month and give y'all something. Um, if you're watching this video, I think I have about three of the King Yanni bars that's in stock. So go to my website, www.sincerevibes.com and grab those if you're interested. These um, soaps that you see here today, the soap and the shampoo bar, none of them will be available until October the 17th. So if you're interested in purchasing, it'll be on the website October the 17th. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for supporting me and my business and my journey. Stay tuned, there's more coming as well as another series about me and my journey on becoming an author. So thank you so much for watching. You guys stay blessed and have a blessed day. Did you get ready in the dark or something? Cause you look like a beautiful